What's up everybody, this is Kerry. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to extend an existing NFL data set. Now, in this particular video, I'm gonna show you how I add new data from the current season onto existing data from previous seasons. That's a vertical addition, adding new rows. The other thing I'm gonna show you is how to extend a data set by adding new columns, that's horizontally. In particular, I'm gonna add a new column called div game that shows us whether a game is a non-divisional game, the first divisional game in the season, or the second divisional game in the season. Now, this particular video is really the third video in a series of three. The first one being the scraping NFL data with Python. The second is merging NFL data with Python. And the third video, which I'm recording right now, is how to extend an existing data set. So these three videos together form a really good series showing you how to scrape, merge, and extend NFL data sets. You can use this code and adapt it very easily to other types of data sets, not just NFL. So let's look at the code. I'm gonna to jump to the other side of the screen here. Okay, so here's our code. Now most of this code I've already shown in my previous two videos. So that for that particular code, I'm not gonna show it. I'm not gonna go very long on that. Uh, but I am gonna show you the differences, the minute differences between that video one, video two, and this video three here. So as always, we're gonna import NumPy and Pandas. And then as soon as that is done, we're going to do the following. Now, and here it is, here's the, main, the first main difference. In the previous videos, I made the seasons list uh, range 2014 to 2022. I've already done that. We've done that. If you did, if you did video two, then you've, we've already done that particular data set. What I want is just 2023. So I'm changing this now to this following one here in the second cell there. Seasons is gonna be string season for season range 2023. And again, it goes one less than the last number. So it's just gonna be season 2023. So the rest of these things, the teams and everything else is the same. And I'm going to go ahead and run that cell. There it is. This is the scraping cell here, which is what I did for my first video. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this one again. You can kind of see this running here at the bottom. It is not, I'm not gonna sit here and let this go all the way through. So in the next cell then, I save the data that we just downloaded. And again, this is gonna be 2023. So instead of saying NFL DF 2CSV 2014 and 2022, as in the previous videos, it is now NFL game logs uh, underscore 2023.csv. So that is the file name for the new data set. So we're really gonna have two data sets here, 2014 and 2022, and then the new stuff from 2023. And we do this at the end of each week, you typically on Tuesday morning when this data is updated to get the new data set. Now again, I've already done this, so I'm not gonna redo this for this video, but down here as I look here to reload it, I'm reloading this from 2023. So there it is. I have 544 rows here in that data set. There's probably a little too many here. As in the second video here, I'm gonna drop some columns. Like I said, this is gonna go relatively fast because I've already done this. I'm going to drop where the TM value is an NAN. Now the shape here is now 482 and 11 columns. This is the 2023 data and 482, it goes up to uh, December 28th of 2023, where we had the Thursday night game. So that goes all the way up to that one. And again, renaming some columns here, as I've said, I'm not going to go through all these cells here. This is all of this was in the second video. So just gonna rerun all these cells. Now I am gonna resave this data set after all those changes have been made. The first save was the original data that was scraped from the website. After I make the changes, now I'm gonna resave it uh, with all those modifications. So this is, again, NFL points 2023. Now in the next cell here is where we scrape the Vegas data. Again, I'm not going to go through all the code there. We've done that in the previous videos, and I'm also not gonna sit here and scrape it. With 32 teams and an average of four and a half seconds uh, sleep time, that's about two and a half minutes. So that's about how long this should take uh, if you have all the code in there correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. And one more time, as soon as you scrape the data, make sure you immediately save it. And that's what I'm doing in this cell. Again, I'm not gonna do it on this video because I've already done it. I'm gonna immediately reload this data set here, the Vegas data set. 
as again 482 rows and nine columns just like the the same number of rows as the NFL points data set. Now these are the actual columns here. This is just a quick review of the video two here, where I then get rid of the extra games in the season that are not part of the regular season. The Vegas data set is slightly different than the game logs data set. And now finally here, we're getting to the, <laughs> what we did in video two here, where we merge these things side by side based on these four key va key values all together forms a unique key, the season, the team, the opponents, and whether it's home or away. So once we do that merge, this is the merge this way, we have the Vegas lines and the game log data all matched up, which is a beautiful thing. And you can see here for 2023, we have 482 rows and 14 columns. And I am gonna save this. This is again necessary for this video where we save the existing data here for 2023. Now finally, we get to the extension. Now we're going to take what we had from 2014 to 2022 and extend it again vertically, add the rows here. So here we have the NFL points. This is the new stuff for this video. 2014 to 2022, which was in video two, 2023, which is this video, and we're gonna look at these two data sets here, these two data frames. They have 14 columns each. The first one has 4,670 rows, and this 2023 has 482. I'm taking the merge data set from 2014 to 2022. There it is on this cell on the top here. And I'm taking the one from 2023 that we just reloaded, and I'm simply just doing a concat, concatenation. So this is going to take the, by default, the 2014 to 2022 and the 2023 and add it to the bottom of that. So there is the merge data set. This is updated. And I'm definitely going to save this one to the new CSV file, NFL points and Vegas 2014 to 2023.csv. So this is everything with everything new added. Now, two new columns here. I'm going to go back and reload the same data set. I like to save it and then reload it, make sure everything is there. And this particular column here is pretty simple. So nothing too wild here. But when the game is played, we get the actual total here. And that's going to be what I call the offensive points plus the defensive points. And so I'm adding that as a new column. Not because this is one that is particularly necessary since we already have those other two columns. But what I'm trying to show here is how you can add a new column onto the data set, and this extends it horizontally, left to right. Now here is the other star of the show. The first one is extending it. This is adding the divisional games. So this is a what I call the divisional dictionary, div dictionary, and look at the top row there. We have Buffalo, I have the three letter codes as the key, and then the actual division in which they are belong to as the value. So this Buffalo is in AFC East, so is Miami. I just put all the uh, divisions on the same row here to make it easier to uh, understand. That is eight divisions, four teams per division, so that's 32 teams. What I'm going to do is put a zero in this column if it's a non-divisional game. A one if it is the first divisional game between the two divisional opponents, like say Dallas and Philadelphia. And then a two if it's the second divisional game in that season between the same two teams. What I do is I look at the, the uh, week in which these two teams played. So I'm going to do a group by on this new data set here. Group by season, team, and opponent there. Look at the top of this cell here. And I'm going to then look at the week in which they've played. So transform min, what that does, it finds the first week in which these two teams played in a given season. I'm doing this and I'm making this a new column. Now these columns here I'm making as temporary columns are just here to create the divisional game column. I'm doing the same thing for the max. So if the two teams had played each other twice, then the max week here would be the second week in which they played. And I'm going to show you what that looks like uh, when I run this cell. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and explain the rest of the code. So here is the main function. Calculate the divisional column here based on the given row here. 
if the two teams looking at this and I have to uppercase these because I have the, um, I'm sorry, lowercase these because I have the team abbreviations in uppercase in the data set, I send those two teams, the team and the opponent, to that dictionary. And if the corresponding value, which is the um, division, does not match, I simply return a zero. So in other words, in this new column, we're going to have a zero on every row and where the two teams that are playing each other do not belong to the same division. Now, if we get past that if statement and look at this, so this particular condition is true when the teams in the same division have only played each other one time so far in the seasons. As I mentioned above here, in 2023, if we maybe just have this after week seven or eight, whatever, then maybe these two teams that are in the same division have only played each other once. In that case, we return a one because that is the first divisional game. However, if they played each other twice, then we don't necessarily have the same weeks there. For week min and week max will be different. But if the current week is the minimum week, that means again that that's the first time that those two teams played each other in the same season. And then finally, if neither of these two conditions are true, that means the minimum week and the maximum week are different, and it's not currently the minimum week. That means that the current week then is the maximum week, which means it's the second time those same two teams in the same division have played each other. So then finally, here's how we create this divisional game column. We do the same thing here. We apply a function here, calc div column. This creates a brand new column called div column, and it'll be a zero, a one, or a two based on whether or not it's a non-divisional game, the first divisional game of the season, or the second divisional game of the season. Now finally, we pop the weak min and weak max columns because we don't need those in our final data set. That was just there to create the div game column. And I'm not gonna do this print here. We can show the tail just to make sure that everything works out fine and verbose there just to see what the info is. But I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and run the cell. And as always, we've done a lot of work here. Make sure we save this data set to a CSV file. This is 2014 to 2023, NFL points in Vegas. And I want to show you in this very last cell here, the div game values, the value counts. Now, this means here that we have 3,274 non-divisional games on our data set, 960 of those games that are the first game of the season between divisional opponents, and 918 of the second divisional games between two opponents. Because we haven't finished the 2023 season yet, that last number is slightly less than the one right above it. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value from it. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. I'll see you in the next lesson.